Hey my bowl of cereal, can someone please tell me why all these religions are competing into owning the worst musical band on earth? They're bad drugs. Yeah, I'm talking about bad, bad drugs. Yeah. As most of you know, Scientology is a cult masquerading as a religion so they don't have to pay taxes. See, while Scientology doesn't have to pay taxes, I choose not to pay taxes. We are not the same. Please IRS do not come after me, uh, that was a joke. And even though most people see Scientology as a glorified shitpost ridiculed by South Park, come out, class. Oh my God. How Ron Hubbard doesn't think I'm a great actor. The multi-level marketing scam has been able to gain tens of thousands of followers around the earth, including famous stars like John Travolta, Elizabeth Moss, and even new stars that no one knows about like Tom Cruise. But as with any hip religion, they can't just focus on adults, they gotta get those young minds, baby. Those small brains you can still mold and shape to your vision. But how does one market a highly sophisticated and complex subject like Scientology to children? You guessed it, Christianity already mastered it with the power of awful music. That's right, baby. You've heard of Christian rap. The beats are sick. My crew is big and it keeps getting bigger. That's cause Jesus Christ is my Christian rock. It's Sunday, Sunday. Heading to church on Sunday. Everybody's looking forward to the service time. And the Jonas Brothers. It is my right idea. But have you heard of Scientology's Kids Bob called, uh, what was it again? We are. One more time, please. I didn't hear you. Yeah, that's right. I love how she says, Yeah, that's right. Like she was keeping them at gunpoint for if they didn't know their name. Yeah, that's right. So, kids on stage for a better world. Uh, for a religion created by a science fiction writer, couldn't they come up with a cooler title? Like, oh, I don't know, kids overthrowing governments to launch the new world order on stage? But I guess you can also refer to them as the Kids Bop of Scientology. Who could forget Scientology's very own Kids Bop? And maybe it's because they're both just teen bands, or maybe it's because Kids on Stage for a Better World was created two years after Kids Bop, and they copied the exact same band formula. I always thought that Kids Bop was the worst thing to ever happen to the music industry with songs like this. But now I realize that that valuable achievement never belonged to them. It belonged to Scientology's kids on stage for a better world. No world that you dream. Is this even a live show? I feel like this is just some elaborate torture ritual just to open a portal behind them for the Scientology gods. Oh almighty Tom Cruise, you can finally ascend to godhood after finishing your 30th Mission Impossible movie. Now since the band was created back in 1992, they have to have some hidden bangers, right? Like a uh, vitamin R or bad drug. bad drug. To start off, let's listen to their first hit single called Starts With Me. Now, I couldn't find any written lyrics to the song, but just from listening to a few of their other songs, it's pretty clear that they're filled with not so subtle indoctrinating Scientology messages. It starts out pretty realistically with the high school kids being bored out of their mind. They're yawning, falling to their desks, the teachers getting pissed off, you know, just an average American high school classroom. And just like every American high school classroom, what better way to cure your boredom than to burst out in song and dance. Starts with me, starts with you. Setting our goals, making our plans. I'm starting to see what's going on.
in time will become leaders of the brand new world. Yeah, at this point I wouldn't be surprised if I started hearing lyrics like Starts with me, starts with you, let's overthrow the government right now. Wait a minute, now the teacher is like happily and completely off rhythm dancing. Well, if you ever have a sucky teacher, you know what to do. I just pay a small fee of a thousand dollars to enter Scientology and then start singing your manifesto in the middle of class. Now if you thought, hmm, this song is pretty good, but it's missing one crucial thing, a safe for work rap solo from the widest kid in school. Well don't you worry, because it's in there. Let's go. Come on guys, let's kick it. We have a will and a way. And if we get busy now right today, we can make some choices for the good of all men. Working together, working hand. Um, and then it kind of keeps going until they all collectively jump in a frame composed of 10 pixels. So I mean, we, uh, we're off to a great start. Uh, this song had it all. The hip cool adults, the hip cool rappers, and the hip cool references to the Scientology manifesto. So it's just great and their viewers agree. All three of them. Uh, but to find more in-depth info about their songs, I had to dig a little deeper until I eventually found a dedicated website called betterworldkids.com, a website that looks like it was designed about a century before the internet ever existed and is secured like that too. And to protect yourself, you can download NordVPN. Yeah, I'm just kidding, I'm not getting any sponsors yet. Uh, but from this website, I found out that Kids on Stage for a Better World uh, was recruiting performers from the age of four uh, and were guaranteed to perform drug-free. Now, I know that the world of rock and roll gets a bad rap when it comes to drugs, but I'm pretty sure that a child who's four years old and barely got off of their pacifier addiction uh, won't be smoking that green plant before they start abundantly singing about how they're starting the new world order. Now, before we go over to their popular songs, I have to disappoint you that Kids on Stage for a Better World is currently on a hiatus. Aww. But don't worry, because they'll be returning as Kids on Stage Next Generation. Um, I don't know when, since their hiatus started about 11 years ago, but I'm uh, pretty sure that they'll be making their comeback any day now. Now going through their discography, there are a few songs that stand out the most. Uh, one such songs being Mission Impossible, which after having watched six times I still can't figure out if that's actually Tom Cruise dancing in the center, because there are not enough pixels. Who or this 35 minute video, which isn't even a song, it's a fucking TV show. Wanna have your singer dance on our show? Well you can't. Here's how. Hey, what can you do? Can you dance or sing? Have you written a story? Yeah, what is your thing? We'd love to hear what it is you do. We're kids on stage, a better world is our thing. So if you're in the mood, just listen to us. Yes. Scientology's Kids Bob had their own TV show, and it's worse than you'd expect. But we'll get back to that one later, since I first want to focus on one of their other most popular songs called Vitamin R, with the following description. Kids, take on the dangers of drugging children, with Ritalin. Kids, take on the dangers of drugging children with Ritalin. You see, these four-year-old performers aren't just guaranteed to perform drug-free, no, no, they're actively fighting the drugs on stage. Because we all know how children love musical critique on complex societal issues like uh, drug addiction, psychology, and mental health. See, for those of you who don't know, Scientology is basically against any and all forms of psychiatric treatment, so antidepressants, antipsychotics, and of course, Ritalin. So let's see how our kids on stage 
fight the multi-billion dollar narcotics industry using nothing but their angelic voices. I'm sorry, I, I don't want to trash on these kids, but why does that one singer look like she was just thrown on stage and forced to dance without having learned any choreography? No dinner, mommy's mad. They be dropping those hard bars. Now I'm just expecting this eight foot tall, 300 pounds of muscle mom coming on stage, stealing that mic and doing a rap solo about how her kids were being naughty. Time to crawl in your box again? Holy shit! Okay, so they're singing about kids struggling with ADHD, you know, and have difficulties with sitting still. And they're singing about how they're being put in a little box when they take Ritalin, which is one of the most effective, although not always mentally healthiest, uh, medications for children suffering from ADHD. Now I know there are many discussions about Ritalin's negative effects and I have friends that stop taking it uh, now that they're older because of the detrimental effect it had on their mental well-being. But in some cases, especially at younger ages, it really can be the best solution, even if it's just a temporary one. So, kids preaching to an entire room of children and parents uh, that taking Ritalin is basically poison that'll keep you in your little box? Uh, seems like just another Scientology Tuesday to me. Uh, but so something else I found was that Kids on Stage for a Better World isn't just a band, they also have a TV show. Well, do you remember how kids bands would have a TV show which is basically just a compilation of their songs with a thinly waving shitty plot in between? Yeah, that's basically it, except that with traditional teen bands, uh, their episodes and songs were about child-friendly topics such as the power of friendship, motivation, and eating a shit ton of broccoli. But with kids on stage for a better world, it's about child-friendly topics such as the crippling criminality that comes with poverty in urban neighborhoods and promoting Skipped Gradient, an indoctrinating book on how to study written by L. Ron Hubbard, the creator of Scientology, who ironically enough dropped out of college for having terrible grades because he sucked at studying. And of course, of course, the only song being opened by children of color is the one about crippling criminality and poverty <laughs> Oh my god dude, see, the issue isn't that the song is being opened by children of color, it's that it's the only song being opened by children of color. Now as I mentioned before, to the detriment of the collective human race, kids on stage went on a hiatus. But not without giving humanity one final gift from the Scientology deities in the form of an entire album called INSPIRATION. With their final track being Just Stand Up, uh, not to be confused with Please Stand Up by Slim Shady. <laughs> what am I even saying? What? His talent isn't even in the same ballpark as the masters of music, kids on stage for a better world. Sometimes you wanna run away, ain't got the patience for the pain. And if you don't believe it, look into your heart, the beat goes on. I'm telling you this. Now again, I'm <laughs> not shitting on these kids. Uh, you wouldn't even be able to 
make me sing on stage at that age. So props for them, but uh, could they really not fix better singers? Don't you know? You can go. Be your own miracle. You need to know. Um, so yeah, I can see why they tried burying this piece of Scientology history. They just didn't bury it deep enough. And I'll still be refreshing my Spotify daily, hoping that one day kids on stage next generation will drop their new album. By now, I probably received like 27 copyright claims on this video from companies all fighting for like $5 of revenue. <laughs> and I'm not getting any of it. So if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel to become part of my cereal bowl so I can absorb all of your fibers and nutrients. And don't forget, to let me know in the comments which song was your favorite. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed this video and if you're an angry Scientology member, you can put that dislike button up your big fat bo.